Good morning everybody and welcome to the European Session Brief. We're on Tuesday the 18th of April 2023. Let's have a look at some of the market headlines this morning. One of them out of China because China's economy grew at a faster pace than expected in the first quarter as the end of Covid zero gave way to stronger consumer spending and factory output. A sign the recovery is on track. GDP expanded 4.5% in the January to March period from a year prior data released by the National Bureau of Statistics showed yesterday. That compared to the growth of 2.9% in the final quarter of 2022 and was higher than the median estimate of 4% uh, in a Bloomberg survey of economists. A rebound in consumer spending and a ramping up in government infrastructure investment helped to boost growth in the first quarter. Emmanuel Macron said he wants to work with unions to change French labour rules as the embattled president seeks to move past his controversial pension reform that has sparked widespread protests and dented his popularity. The government will make proposals on 14th of July, the Bastille Day national holiday, he said during a 14-minute televised speech in which he sought to convey a conciliatory tone, acknowledging that raising the minimum retirement age to 64 had not been accepted by the public. Taiwan will buy as many as 400 land-launched harpoon missiles intended to repel a potential China inv Chinese invasion, completing a deal that Congress approved in 2020. Taiwan had previously purchased ship-launched versions of the harpoon, which is made by Boeing. Now a contract with Boeing issued on Taiwan's behalf by the US Naval Air Systems Command marks a first for the mobile land-launched version. Climbing a wall of worry is one thing, scaling the towering monolith of scepticism that currently comprises Wall Street's view of market takes uncommon courage. The more the S&P 500 goes up and it's risen, it's risen 6% in the past month, the less people seem to trust it. Hedge funds have been loading up bets against US stocks, uh, with S&P E-mini's futures data showing the near most bearish reading since November of 2011. Mutual fund and futures market outflow suggests that rather than rise, the index should have been down 3% in the past three months, according to a Goldman Sachs model. European stocks are on, ch are on track um, to open pretty flat, it must be said. Um, you can see the FTSE there is pretty much trading where it was on the Asian Open overnight, uh, and the DAX likewise as well. DAX interesting looking, uh, quite an indecisive looking candle printed yesterday. You got the body right in the center, really, really thin body as well, almost a doji bar with the flat open and close. Like I said, right in the center. So you've had a rejection to the upside and rejection to the downside. So basically just a sign of potential stabilization for the for for, for, for now. Remember we have climbed to new yearly highs. Um, so this was probably to be expected. Um, but with the DAX's ascendancy in recent times, momentum is still to the upside, so you would be favoring at least getting into the 15, uh, 15,975 level. The euro sold off yesterday, has just recovered slightly over the Asian trade so far, um, but we're back just below the 1.0940 level, which was providing some resistance not too long ago. Uh, I posted inside the chat room just yesterday, um, the DXY, so the dollar index, not not that one, that's the dollar yen, um, but basically the, the, the DXY, the dollar index, um, showing signs of a double bottom being printed there around that 101 level, which is crucial. And of course, the euro dollar makes up a large weighting in that dollar index, um, in the dollar index. Uh, and as such, because we've had the bounce in the dollar index, it's given a reversal. Um, in the euro dollar as well. I know Drew was posting some F uh, some euro charts inside the FX chat room yesterday with some of his thoughts on a channel that the euro is currently in, so certainly worthwhile checking that out as well. Uh, the cable likewise just seen a knockback off the 1.2526. We weren't able to clear that um, the, the, the breakout high. I call it the breakout high because we broke out of that big level at 124.45 then it was false break because it got faded back down that week and then we retested but then that got faded so there's obviously some trouble overhead at that particular level and then like the euro um, cable of course we've got the pound against the US dollar so that big low in the uh, in the US dollar uh, the cable also makes up a weighting of the dollar index and you can see there we've just had some flow out of the kit out of the pound into the US dollar which has seen it trade lower over the past 24 hours 
Um, expected data today uh, includes UK unemployment and Italy's trade balance. Bank earnings also roll on in the US with Goldman Sachs and Bank of America scheduled to report. But that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll leave this there. I will post it inside the trading chat room. Any questions, reach out to me and we'll speak soon. Thanks and bye for now.